Microsoft Active Directory can now be integrated with Yaystar P Service PBX Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. With this integration, you can synchronize your local AD users, organizational units, and groups to the PBX, and allow the synced AD users to directly log into Lancus UC clients by their AD domain accounts through single sign-on. In this video, we will take the Yaystar P-Service PBX Appliance Edition as an example and show you how to realize the integration step by step. If you want to try out the integration, please apply for a free trial for our P-Service PBX from the link in the description and integrate it with the AD. For starters, we need to make sure that the operating system of the AD server is Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, and 2019. The P-Service PBX has been upgraded to version 37.8.0.25 or later, and it has been subscribed to the ultimate plan. By the way, this integration is based on LDAP or LDAP-S. So before the integration, please make sure that the port for LDAP and LDAP-S service is successful on both PBX and AD. If you don't know how to do that, please refer to a Microsoft manual or turn to your Microsoft provider. Then, we'll need the following information from AD for the integration. The IP address of the domain controller where your Active Directory resides. The distinguished name of the directory node where you want to start querying. The username and password of an Active Directory domain account in which the username should be a distinguished name or user principal name. The account needs full access to the desired directory to read the directory information during synchronization. Now that we have all the information and access, we can start the integration. First, log in to PSERS PBX Administrator Interface. In the Integration, find Collaboration. Click on Integrate. And we will see the Active Directory. Now we need to fill the AD server info to the PBX. In host IP, put in the IP address from the AD domain controller. And in protocol, make our choice between LDAP and LDAP-S. Then in port, put in the service port of the LDAP. In base DN, we enter the distinguished name of the base entry to specify the starting points for searches in Active Directory. Then we need administration account authorization. In the username, we put in the DN or UPN we mentioned at the beginning. Then in the password, we put in the corresponding password. When finished, we can click on save. Now a pop-up window will appear to indicate to us that the integration on the server level is finished. We can also check the status on the integration page to reassure. We can move on to sync the users and organization units from AD. All right, go back to the collaboration page. Here we switch on the user synchronization. Here we can choose to synchronize AD users within a specified range or to sync specific AD users only. First, let's go over sync AD users within a specific range. It means that the chosen users from AD will have their corresponding extensions automatically created in the PBX. So we need to specify who will be synced to the PBX. Please note that the range selected here must correspond with the base DN built in the previous step. Here we have four options. We can choose as we need. Then we can move on to decide how we want to assign the extension number. We can set up assign automatically and define the initial number, or if the extension number is already set in the AD user account, we can choose read specific property value and then point out the property name in AD user settings where the number is configured. Then we can decide number, what condition should we delete the extension. Then, at last, we can decide if we want to enable auto-associate extensions with the users that share the same email address. Now when everything's done, click on Save. If you only want to synchronize specific AD users, you can simply go to the specific users option. This means that you can specify the organization units or groups where the PBX can search for AD users. From the below search result list, we can manually select which users we want to sync to the PBX and switch to synchronization list to associate their extensions. 
Now when everything's down, click on save. Then we can go on to sync the organization unit to PBX as an extension group or organization. Go back to the collaboration page and enable organization unit synchronization. Then just as before, we specify which OUs we want to sync from the AD. Then we can move on and configure to sync the OU to the PBX as an extension groups or organizations. When everything's finished, we click on save. And for the last step, we set up the SSO for Linkus UC clients. Here we find enable SSO and switch it on. Then in the login address, we choose the local IP address for local sign-in and domain for remote sign-in, then click on save. Now we have finished the integration between Yaystar P-Service PBX and Microsoft Active Directory. Hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more details and of course, don't forget to apply for the trial license, give it a try by yourself, and I will catch you guys in the next one.